everyone welcome back to another video today i just want to share with you all some books that i got in the mail i'm just so so grateful for these packages i'm assuming they're for my birthday it was my birthday just a couple days ago and i'm just blown away by people's kindness there are a couple packages that i have already opened because i just couldn't resist I didn't have any patience but there are also a few that they are open but I had my brother look through them just to make sure that they're not things that I ordered so I still don't know what's in the packages even though they are opened I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the ones that I haven't opened yet all right so first we have murder at Archley Manor and this one I do know is from my brother he did let me know and this one I'm so so excited to read. I'm so glad that it came in time for Cloak and Dagger Christmas because I do plan on reading this for Cloak and Dagger Christmas. And this one is a murder mystery that is set in the 1920s. And there's just a little blurb that says, Murder at Archley Manor is the first in the high society lady detective series of charming historical cozy mysteries. If you like witty banter, glamorous settings, and delightful plot twists, you'll love USA Today bestselling author Sarah Rosette's series for Anglophiles and mystery lovers alike. This book sounds perfect and I'm just, I'm so, so excited to read it. So thank you to my brother for getting this for me, but just so, so excited to dip into this series in December. All right, so this next package, I don't know who it's from. I don't know what's in it. So let's just see if I can find the note first. All right. So it says, happy birthday, Miriam. This is one of my all-time favorites, so I hope you'll enjoy it too. Mitzi from Mitzi Reads and Writes. Mitzi, thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. Let's see what the book is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the next Daphne du Maurier book that I want to read. It's My Cousin Rachel. Oh my goodness, Mitzi. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just obsessed with this cover too. This is the Virago, I'm pretty sure. Virago Modern Classics Edition, and it, oh, it's just so beautiful. Mitzi, thank you so, so much. So it says, orphaned at an early age, Philip Ashley is raised by his benevolent cousin, Ambrose. Resolutely single, Ambrose is delighted to make Philip his heir, safe in the knowledge that he will treasure his beautiful Cornish estate. But Philip's world is shattered when Ambrose sets off on a trip to Florence. There he falls in love and marries, and then dies suddenly in suspicious circumstances. Before long, the new widow, Philip's cousin, Rachel, arrives in England. Despite himself, Philip is drawn to the beautiful, mysterious woman. But could she be Ambrose's killer? Oh my gosh. I love Daphne du Maurier's writing and I'm just absolutely dying to read this book. I will definitely read it sometime this winter. Mitzi, thank you again. I'm just so, so excited to have this now. So this next package, I do know what it is because I couldn't resist and I opened it. And this is from my amazing friend, Amanda from Book Lover Amanda. And she gifted me with The Mistletoe Countess by Pepper Basham, Basham, Basham. <laughs> no idea how to pronounce her last name. Um, but this one is a Christmas romance that I'm dying to read this December. I'm just, I'm so, so excited for this. And Amanda said, Happy birthday. I'm so thankful to have you in my life. I don't know what I did before we were friends. I can't wait until we have a chance to go book shopping and get coffee together. 100%. Love you, sister from Book Lover, Amanda. Amanda, I love you so much. Thank you so, so much. And I know I already said thank you, but thank you again. I'm just so, so excited about this book. Thank you so, so much. This next one I opened right when it came in the mail. I just couldn't resist. And that is Wishtress by Nadine Brandes. And this is from The Amazing Sky. And I'll leave her channel linked below. She said, you know, I had to send you this. Happiest of birthdays, Miriam. It's been wonderful getting to know you. Praying you have a great day and I hope you enjoy this amazing story. And God bless from Sky. And I'm just, I'm so, so excited. I just read Fox this month and I can't wait to talk about it in my wrap up. I loved it. It was so, so good. And I've heard nothing but praise for her newest book. And I'm just so, so excited to have it now. Oh my gosh, thank you again, Sky. <sighs> I'm just so excited. Another package that I opened already. Sorry. <laughs> and this one is from Chrissy from Chrissy's Purple Library. And I squealed when I saw this. Oh my gosh, look at this masterpiece. The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wong. This is the first in, I believe a series or it's a standalone, I'm not quite sure, but this is a self-published fantasy. So it's not as well known, but I've heard this is one of the best self-published fantasies out there and I'm just 
dying to read this. And I think Chrissy and I are gonna read it in the winter together. And her little note said, happy birthday, Miriam. You have made such an impact on my life and my TBR. I saw this book on your wish list and can't wait to hear your thoughts. Love from Chrissy, from Chrissy's Purple Library. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's huge, it's huge, it's huge. But I'm just so, so excited. And I love this cover. I'm, oh, this is beautiful. And I just, it's a beautiful brick. That's what this is. But I'm just so, so excited to read it. Thank you again, Chrissy. Oh, so excited. All right, and the final package, I did get my brother to open it, but I did not look inside. So I have no idea who it's from or what it is. Seems really, really big. It doesn't feel... It's a puzzle. Oh my goodness. Let's see. So it says, happy, happy birthday, sweet friend. I hope you have the best day celebrating you and thought I'd add it to your things to do for Christmas. Hmm. From Lindsay Lemus. Oh my goodness, Lindsay. Thank you so much. You didn't have to send anything. No one has to ever send anything. This is just... My heart is so full. Thank you all so, so much. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's also wished me happy birthday. It means so, so much. I'm just so grateful for this community. I'm grateful for everyone. And I'm almost at one year on booktube as well. So a birthday and then a booktube anniversary. It's just so, so fun. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this puzzle. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's the Christmas Square Gallison puzzle. I'm obsessed with Gallison. They sell some of these puzzles at Indigo, but not all of them. And unfortunately, the Canadian Amazon doesn't have a lot of the ones that are on the American Amazon. But this is one that I've been wanting to do for so long. Oh my goodness, it's a little Dickens. It says the old curiosity shop. What does it say? Immortalized by Charles Dickens and then antique and modern art. Just look at this. Lindsay, thank you so much. I am so excited to do this puzzle. I want to start it now. Oh my gosh. Oh, and here's the illustration on a bigger slip of paper. Do any of you who do puzzles keep these? Sometimes I like to keep them and either frame them or just hang them on my wall, but they're just so beautiful. This is art. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you again. And I'm just, I'm so, so grateful. So these are the books and puzzle that I was gifted for my birthday. And I really, truly do not deserve any of it. I'm just beyond grateful for, for them. And for all of you, the fact that you've subscribed to my channel and just the fact that you are interested enough to listen to me talk about books. It just means so, so much. And this was definitely a really special birthday and I'm just, I'm so, so grateful for each of you. So that's it for this short and sweet video. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye.